Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan with your New Zealand forecast for this week ahead and right through till Saturday. We've got a big high to the south, low pressure to the north, and in between, we've got a windy southeasterly. The South Island's still pretty wintry at the moment, but the reason we haven't seen snow and aren't really likely to on any sort of significant level around the main centres like Christchurch, Timaru, Dunedin, for example, uh, simply because of this big block of high pressure to the south. This is not a true southerly that's just roaring up from Antarctica. It's a southern ocean airflow curving around that high and then in as an east to southeasterly. So it's cold for the next sort of week ahead, but it's not as cold as it could be if it was a direct southerly coming through. And there's a fair amount of low pressure all up to the north here of the country and out to the west. That's going to bring in a little bit more rain over the next couple of days. So let's kick off with the rain map. This is the next three days of rainfall, the bulk of it around central areas to the east. So wider upper parts of Wellington, Kaikoura, with another 45 to 55 millimetres in that area. Uh, the rainfall totals are about 40 millimetres for parts of Hawke's Bay and about 30 or 40 millimetres for these eastern areas as well. So brushing sort of eastern areas, that's where the bigger totals will be. Further to the south, with that high pressure in charge, your rainfall totals drop right off the scale. And so does the snow. Not a lot of snow coming now for the southern part of the country. It's now more of a Canterbury event. The foothills, the mountains, and the plains further inland. This map looks like there's sort of snow all the way around the South Island, but really the coastal areas are not getting it. It's further inland, at least 100 metres above sea level. There might be the odd flurry or a sort of a sleety rain mix that goes lower down, but it's not enough to um, build a snowman, put it that way. Uh, not much for the North Island. This is just the next 24 hours. But as we go through to Tuesday, from 6 o'clock Tuesday morning, through to 6am Wednesday, a few snow flurries come into the North Island. It takes sort of into Wednesday and Thursday for the coldest air to finally move in to the North Island. For now though, it's actually warmer than average. This is tonight's departure from normal and it shows the South Island into that sort of wintry grip, except for the West Coast, you're sheltered through the Southern Alps. Uh, and in the North Island, apart from this little bit up here around the Bay of Islands and Whangarei, uh, most of the North Island's either average or actually leaning a little bit warmer than average because of the wind and the cloud that's still coming through. So here is the forecast for Tuesday at lunchtime. The milder weather north of this blue line. So not as cold for the very top of the country, but messy with patchy sort of rain and showers. Not as much in the way of fog because it'll be a little bit windier and certainly windy through central areas. And you've got that high pressure further south. So rain showers falling as snow here and then drying out as you head further down the country. As we get to the middle of the week, there isn't a huge deal of change. The high uh, around the south has kind of moved away. Now we've got a new centred uh, system out around Australia, bringing some frost for them. But in the North Island, we've still got sort of patchy rain and showers, and that colder airflow moves further up. So you will start to notice those temperatures dropping at the top of the country. And by Thursday, that blue line goes all the way up north of Auckland. So Thursday's a cooler day. It's not going to be freezing cold. It's still an easterly, so it's not a southerly. A um, bit of rain around the very north, more of those showers along the east, high pressure really in control of the south. We'll be seeing some big frosts in the South Island over the coming days. Now at the very uh, end of the week on Friday, you can see that southeasterly flow. Now the blue line goes all the way up to Cape Reunga. So the whole country by Friday is definitely feeling the temperatures down. Um, but although the very south of the country might just start to notice the next airflow about to come on through. By the time we get to Saturday, you've got a windier change coming through. It's not stormy, but it's um, perhaps a little bit milder, at least by night. But this is a very strange shaped high, um, and that's rolling in as well. That'll be bringing some frosts or at least some colder nights coming through. So in a nutshell, the week ahead of New Zealand is colder, although it takes a few days for it to really get in to the top of New Zealand. That's all from me. For more information, please go to our websites, ruralweather.co.nz and weatherwatch.co.nz. We'll see you on Tuesday.